Well, I'm trying a new angle to paint. I'm just going to show you how far I've come with the little horse. Um, still got a ways to go. This is just one side, and I still have all the detail to do on this side. I've just got the basic colors painted in. And so now I'm going to start on the back other side. Um, I'm just experimenting with some different angles to see what's best for you to see me paint. I'm sorry. I'm... Uh, shoulder and headless but I can't I can't get it right I mean I can't get it uh, where I would like to get it and really make it work so you just have to we're just gonna see how this works I'm just gonna do a few minutes and then I'll go check it and see what's happening you know I'm doing this all on my own I've been trying this for some months now and uh, I've had to teach myself everything that I'm doing as far as filming and editing and programs to use. Um, for months I had, was using my iPhone camera and it would turn me in what I call a ghost all the time and that was annoying. Of course, everybody thought that was pretty funny, but you know, after a while it's not funny anymore. Um, And then I started using a new app, the Pro Movie Plus app, which doesn't turn me into a ghost, which I like that part. But it films in 3K, so it started filling up my computer with all the videos I do. And this morning I spent about an hour on with Apple support figuring out how to maximize, minimize, whatever, my storage so that I could keep my videos and not lose them. And so I'm just learning and learning and trying and trying and experimenting and experimenting. And I hope you're not getting too bored with all this. I'm just having fun. I told my daughter Kim and my daughter Elizabeth. Elizabeth's the one who got me started doing this. I told Kim, when it stops being fun, I'll stop. Because I'm 76 years old and life is not gonna, I'm not gonna do anything that's not fun and beneficial to my welfare <laughs> at this time in my life and you know I live on Lake Lanier and I hear somebody out on the lake is yelling and I bet you hear it too I'm painting royal squares right now my daughter Kim named all of my things that I do and now I'm gonna do some stately stripes I've been doing these things for years and didn't know what to call them but now Kim is a songwriter music songwriter and she's very much knows about the business and branding and all that stuff. So, therefore, she helped me come up with names for all of my little things I do. And these are royals. I mean, not royal. These are stately stripes. <laughs> yeah, my only problem is to remember what it is I'm supposed to call them. I do these little dots that she named dignified dots. And half the time I call them dignity dots. <laughs> uh, my little horse is making noise here. He's bucking, little bucking rocking horse. All right, let me see. Let me go around and do the little, let me finish these stripes on this side. Anyway, I had to order me an external hard drive. 
I got one that holds eight terabytes. <laughs> the Apple guy says, I think that will hold you for a while. He laughed at me. He was quite impressed with how I progressed in my little venture here, learning how to use all this stuff and make my videos and edit them and figure out how to do iMovie on my computer and getting my lighting and my sound and setting up on tripods and all this stuff that I have to do. And I've been watching football. Oh, let me tell you the funny thing. Yesterday, I thought that it was Friday all day. I even called my daughter Elizabeth to see if they were having pizza night, because Friday's usually pizza night. And I was going to go spend the night, but it wasn't the best time for her, so I decided not to go. And so I painted and just had a good old time yesterday. And all of a sudden, I looked up on my TV and I saw football games recording. And I went, what? They're playing on Friday? What's going on? And I had Auburn set up to record at noon. Now this was way late in the afternoon. Thank God I had it set up to record because I would have missed the game, which they won, finally. It's not been the best football season for me. I'm a very big football fan, especially college football. And so, <laughs> It was Saturday, and I thought it was Friday. I don't know how this is working with me talking and you only seeing my, <laughs> my arms. And hopefully my hand's painting, and hopefully this little horse, you can see what I'm doing better. I love doing this so much. It is so relaxing for me. And fun. Okay, that gets all the checks and the squares. And now I'm going to do the stripes on the rocker. But today is Sunday, since I found out yesterday was Saturday. Last night I went over and had dinner with my friend across the street who celebrated my birthday with me. We have to do things sometimes not on the day. We had a good time. She brought in Chinese. And we ate and we talked and we had such a good time. And she gave me this really cool birthday present. It's a banner to hang out on my porch. And it's all about Auburn. And our, see, I forget what it says, but it's something about in our house, we yield more eagle. That's not exactly what it says, but I need to go look at it again. <laughs> But yes, we yell War Eagle. Of course, the War Eagles haven't done too great this year. They've lost two games. And you know, they're in the SEC, so if you're in the SEC and you lose two games, and they've still got their biggest games to go, got Georgia, which I'm a Georgia fan too. But when they play Auburn, I pull for Auburn. And that's going to be in Athens this year, so... Wow. I feel bad for Auburn because I have a feeling it's not going to be a good day. <laughs> and then Auburn has to play Alabama. Now, I've got good friends and relatives who are Bama fans. And I love them, but I do not love Bama. 
I was born in Alabama. And you're either born a war eagle or a roll tide. And I was not born a roll tide. And I'm telling you, you have to hand it to them. I don't understand how in the world one team can dominate so completely for so long. I really don't know. Except <laughs> last year Auburn beat both of them. But I don't know about this year. I don't have the confidence. Okay, there. Now, I'm gonna stop and see how this is recording and how what you're seeing of how I'm painting. And I've gotta make the little stripes on this inside of the rocker. So I'm gonna stop a minute and I'll be back.